here in front of us is the model of seminal vesicles. Remember, I talked about uh, the ductus difference or vas difference coming close to these vesicles. These are the glandular structures. They are leaf-like. They, they are of the shape of a leaf. Okay, They are actually highly tubular glands or tubular glandular structures. And they are the evaginations. They actually are deriving from the, uh, the dilated end of the ductus difference, which is known as the ampulla of the ductus difference. That ampulla, ampullary part of the ductus difference will give rise to these right and left seminal vesicles on each side. So they are the derivatives of ductus difference. Uh, what they are doing, they, they, are, they are composed of, uh, like uh, they are made up of glands, uh, glandular structures, and they are constantly producing seminal fluid. That seminal fluid is a whitish yellow fluid, which is viscous in, in cons consistency. And it's mainly containing fructose, choline, proteins and ascorbic acid. That's uh, like for the nourishment of the sperms. Um, by the way, uh, the, you know, the, the, the mixture of sperm and the seminal fluid will give rise to semen. So in other words, the semen would be containing fructose, choline, ascorbic acid, all these products of the seminal uh, vesicle, like seminal fluid. Uh, it can be used in the forensic medicine for the detection of, like, you know, specimen that uh, only semen in the entire body secretions, only semen contains fructose and choline together. No other bodily secretion has this blend of choline and fructose. So the presence of choline along with fructose is an indication of semen uh, on the specimen, a forensic specimen. Okay. Now um, here I have something like that. The model is there showing that from this, you know, that uh, I, I said that the, the ductus difference, the vas difference joins the seminal vesicle, uh, the seminal duct which is originating from the seminal vesicle. Once the, the ductus difference and seminal vesicle duct are joined together, they give rise to ejaculatory duct. The ejaculatory duct is bringing the semen up to the uh, prostatic part of urethra because this is the prostate gland and it's been traversed by this urethra coming from the neck of the bladder in uh, this, this part of the urethra has been receiving on either side would be receiving the ejaculatory ducts which would be dumping semen into the male urethra. 